let's talk about today a uh, trade that I have taken on KGPY, right? So if you see the monthly time frame, we see that price has retraced to fill this PC. Then it shows a good reaction from it to go higher targeting the buy side liquidity. Right, at the weekly time frame, so the monthly IOF is bullish. And at the weekly time frame, we see that we have equal highs here. That's why I said liquidity. So this is our next strong liquidity for price. So the IF is still bullish. Right? So if price, let's assume that maybe price could break market structure on the daily. It could drop slower at this point here, then goes higher. If it doesn't take any buy side liquidity, then break market structure. And this is why we have this level as our invalidation point. So if price retraces to fill this this fair value gap right here, I don't want to see price taking this low here. And if it did take this low, there is a higher chance that the IF has switched to be bearish to fill this fair value gap. Then maybe to take this consolidation here, the trend line phantom. Then maybe mm -hmm. this equal lows. And is it that this invalidation is over there only because it's the candle with fair value gap? Am I right? It is also because of the daily structure. If we go to the daily structure, yeah, we have this swing low right here. And yeah, you are right what, about what you said because of the fair value gap. And because if this low is taken, then there is a higher chance for price to fill this fair value gap right here. Oh yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. And also this is a big expansion. I don't want to see price to, to, to trace below this level because there is, there is, there is no reason for price to drop below it. I, I don't see any reason then if price take this low to fill, it's only to fill this fair value gap or maybe to continue lower. And why I didn't choose this previous weekly low right here? Because if I if I choose this previous weekly low, there is a higher chance that price could feel could check this low and fill this fair value gap and to, and continue higher. So this low here is not a good a good low a good level for our invalidation for our mm -hmm. invalidation scenario to invalidate our scenario. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, so that's the weekly time frame. This is the daily time frame. The daily time frame, I have this low as my invalidation, I could say, on the daily time frame. Why? So if price retrace to this point here, taking this low, I'm not saying that price is going to be bearish. It just I'm saying that price could retrace to this fair value gap and continue higher. And this fair value gap here is inside that weekly level, that weekly fair value gap. So we have a daily fair value gap inside the weekly fair value gap. That's why I don't want to, even if price retrace, I don't want to price to take this low because we have the daily is, bear, is bullish. So the weekly is bullish, the daily is bullish. So I'm expecting the daily range to, uh, to be respected. Yeah, and if we drop to the four hour time frame, I'm expecting what? I'm expecting the four hour range to be respected because the four hour is also bullish. And if price take this low here, the Monday's low, then I could say, okay, price on four hour is bearish to drop to fill this daily BC at discount of that range from this low to this high, at discount to go higher. So this is our key level here, this low here, this swing low. If it is taken, then the then price is going to be very continue higher. And if it's and if it's still valid here, I'm still expecting bullishness from this range, from this low to this high. This is the four hour range. I'm expecting it to 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 hold. So at this point here price has retraced to optional trade entry to this 4-hour order block 
to continue higher and like I said if this low is taken I could take a sell so if this low is taken and retrace lower uh, and retrace to to premium of this range from this high to this low then I could take a sell to the daily to go higher for me when price would go to the daily time frame I'm not saying just go and buy blindly I mean wait for the uh, for the shift wait for the hourly shift uh, wait for the one hour break of market structure or the four hour break of market structure before before going higher right so at the one hour time frame so I have something I lost uh, Hello, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. I lost you for, for like 10 seconds. Yeah, I have oh, it's, it's okay now. It's fine. I can't load my... Yeah, okay, it's working now. On one hour time frame... Okay. Okay. So price... We could say that price has retraced. So option more trade entry, like we said, 0 0.779. It took sell side liquidity below this low, then it reversed at New York, going higher. Why we didn't say okay, this is a break of market structure for price to go lower? For me, yeah, there are traders that could say this is a break of market structure to go lower. I don't say it is wrong. It just the IF the 4 hour IF is bullish and we know that the IF is greater than break of market structure right so this is sometimes confusing me uh, you know yeah, I know it is confusing but that's why you should always identify your IF before before you know uh, uh, before uh, studying the market structure you should know where price is going. Like we said, the price, the next draw in liquidity is that equal high. So price it is going bullish. Mm -hmm. And if price take, so let's assume that the draw in liquidity is is bearish. We have an equal low somewhere here, and price has retraced. At this movement has retraced to a premium level. Then we see this displacement. At that time, I could sell. I could go and enter a sale but because but because the IF is still bullish we still didn't check our the draw on liquidity I'm expecting price to continue higher and I'm expecting the Monday candles to you know to uh, to be uh, to be valid right and also, as uh, if we talk about the weekly range, the weekly market profile, we could say that, that Monday has trended higher. So I'm expecting Monday to be the high, the low of the week, and I'm expecting Tuesday to to retrace from Monday's low to to this high here, to to, the, to Tuesday high. So at that time, if price check this low, I think. It's not enough for price to, to drop lower. It could be just buy side liquidity is taken, then a continuation higher. Did you understand what I am trying to say? Yeah, yeah, of course. And I can see order block as well, one hour. Yeah, that's, yeah, the one hour order block or the four hour order block also. I'm expecting this four hour yeah. order block to hold and we have a one hour order block inside the four hour order block. So I'm, I used just one level. I, I didn't use the bot level. So yeah. And then at this time here, when once price has dropped at this point here, drop into my entry to fill this fair value gap here, I didn't enter. I didn't enter. I waited for a rejection. I waited for a confirmation. And then price has keep rejecting that level closing at this fair value gap so I entered at the next candle and then price has went it was so close so close to give me my one to two 
which me adjust this level it was so close to give me one to two at this point here then twice has the trade yeah so now i'm waiting for price to to go back to one to two i didn't uh, you know close the trade or something like that because i wasn't you know because i wasn't you know monitoring the trade yeah when do you move your 